Honorable Chairperson, learned audience, very good evening. I am Dr. Mohammad Shuripul Islam, presenting the topics coronary perfusion. Definition of the coronary perfusion is that anatomical breeze in the wall of the coronary vessel resulting in the extravasation of the blood or dye. Coronary perfusion is a rare but fatal complication. The incidence of coronary perfusion is 0.4% and it is 2.9% in case of C2PCI. Anatomically, there are two types of coronary perfusion, proximal and mid-vessel perfusion and distal vessel perfusion. But according to severity of the uh, coronary perfusion, perfusion is type 5 and this is uh, considered as a illicit classification and this is the type 1 perforation extra luminal crater without linear extravasation of the contrast this is the type 2 perforation pericardial or myocardial brush less than 1 millimeter exit hole this is the type 3 perforation frank steaming of the contrast more than 1 millimeter exit hole this is the type 4 perforation, perforation in the anatomic cavity and this is the type 5 perforation, distal segment perforation. <coughs> there are so many risk factors uh, in coronary perforation, female and older patient, complex coronary anatomy, complexity of the procedure, lower baseline creatine clearance, previous CAVG, multivessel PCI, C2 PCI, use of oversized balloon or stain, excessive post dilatation, use of ethyablative device or hydrophilic guide wear. So for the management of the coronary perforation, hemodynamic stability is the first consideration. For this, we have options are IV fluid, blood, inotropes and IABP. Second consideration is anticoagulant and antiplatelet. Intravenous anticoagulant and antiplatelet therapy needed to be discontinued. Optimization of the ACT with or without potamine injection. If the patient is abscesimab, then it is better to avoid, it is better to give platelet concentration. If the patient, patient is iptifibitide, then shorter half life, stoppage of the drug is sufficient. Next, in this meantime, arrange for TPM, ECO, DC shock and call for helps anesthetists and surgeons. Illish type 1 type and type 2 perforation is treated with this minimal and relatively conservative approach, but if needed, whatever may be the type of balloon inflammation is the first step. And if there is a cardiac, cardiac tamponade, then pericardial synthesis is mandatory. And second step is the cover stand deployment. The two requisite for the cover stand deployment, proximal and mid-vessel perforation and distal wear should be in the true lumen. And methods to treat distal coronary perforation, we can use gel foam, metal coils, <coughs> coagulated blood from the patients, thrombin injections, two component fibrin glue, collagen, and if not possible, if in the meantime patients do, do, do not manage, then surgical refer reference is needed and patient ligation of the coronary uh, vessels of the perforation and, and bypass graft. <coughs> Here I show the a case of uh, 50 years old male, a smoker, hypertensive, non-diabetic, admitted to NICV with the complaint of central chest pain on the background of uh, ex exertional chest pain for last four months and diagnosed as a case of AMI with delayed arrival. Non-invasive test, ECG is uh, AMI inferior, troponin raised. And invasive test depot shown left side coronary artery was normal and right side 90 to 95 percent stenosis. We decided to give do for PCI and pre dilatation was done into 2 into 15 size balloon at 12 by temperature and then stenting was done 3 into 38 size balloon. And then post dilatation was done, balloon size was 3.5 into 10 at 16 at AM. And after the post dilatation, Figure is like that. I think this is quite imperfect. For better perfection, again, post dilatation was done and disaster was happened. NC balloon, 4 into 10 size balloon at 28 m pressure was given. This is the Elis type 3 perforation. And 
Then for the management, we, we, our the first line defense was the patient was him, uh, prolonged balloon inflation. First line defense, prolonged balloon inflammation, inflammation was done, and patient, at the meantime, patient was hemodynamically unstable, heart rate gradually decreased, TPM was done, and patient developed VTVF, and DC shock was given. And then we go for the second line defense. Our the second line defense was the cover stand deployment. Eastern size was 3.5 into 19 millimeter, but second hold was noticed. Then again prolonged balloon dilation was done and second cover stone was deployed. In the meantime, we arranged for echo and echo shows that there is a minimal pericardial elevation. So we do not do pericardiosynthesis. And this is the final result. And this is the cath lab. Enter the cath lab with a cool brain. There is a happy exit from the cath lab. And take home masses, coronary artery perforation remains a rare, rare complication, high index of suspicion, localization of the perforation is needed, urgent and serial echocardiographic monitoring, stop the bleeding first with optimization of the ACT, <coughs> prolonged balloon dilatation always, may need a cover stent. I presentation, I not present amazing. Thank you. Uh, excellent case, the case. Uh, uh, two things I want to say. I want to say that our co-person is always request never move stand balloon, not seeing the, not seeing the coronary vessel. Stand planner for a balloon remove corbin actor short nani. Because if you have a balloon, you can see the 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 balloon, you can see J short diven chodo the gaye nominal baro ba dosh apne chodo solo the gaye chen jamar stand sufficient phule chen baire kaj koren J apne stand short diven stand bar kore dekhen J O J ugly looking perforation orakom perforation apne abar ekta balloon dhuka e polong balloon inflation ko the time lagbe apne hathe jodi stand balloon ta thakto oi diameter eri thale ek two pure tule jekhane perforation hoyse tar theke ek two proximally tule apne within second apne kintu ei blood loss ta bondho korte parten cardiac tamponade prevent korte parten thale ek number rule hoyse kono shomoy stand balloon remove korar age minimum ekta shot niben apne pore shot kom nen dino jodi mone koren je dye apnar beshi use korbo na cicadi ache apne pore shot kom nen apne pore shot or remove korar pore eto dorkar nai kintu stand balloon remove korar age doya kore apne ekta shot niben number 1 rule number 2 distal perforation diagnosis er jonne wire remove korar pore jekhane jekhane wire giye chilo tip of the wire distal end porjonto goya chilo apne control room e eshe doya kore oi side gulo ektu khyal koren na hole ektu pore kintu sisu theke message ashbe sir apne je rogi ta pathalen tar kintu bp fall korche ei dui ta distal perforation karon epicardial vessel perforation kintu onek hate ache cover stand a stand, C stand, hatha se. Kintu, o je distal perforation, or induced distal perforation. Je theoretically dekha lo form coil. Egula kintu amra absolutely theoretical. Amante deshe kintu aishab jinish nai. Ote coil as. Coil as se kintu it's coil embolization. Coil is available. Khub damo na. Bugular to dekhen doya kori last year. Bugular. Jodi coil hatha na tha ki emergency. Dui ta method. Ekta holo je groin theke to fat globule niye ota ke diye dawa catheter madhme to the distal end. Micro catheter fat globule zame na. Oh, ita inject kore dem. Inject inject kore dilat chole. I mean, I mean, bolu je he's lucky ana. Acha. Arikta holo, arikta jinish holo. You can use the floppy part of a used wire. That you can put to the distal end through a micro catheter. That will act as a coil embolization. I mean, ekta kono kuchh he's lucky ana. Karon ekta cover is thakena katle be. Catlebe kintu amade must be mandatory catlebe in the cover stand. Regular wire rule ta par. Sir, amade catlebe must cover thakto be cover stand chhara. Amade chola uchit na. You should must cover stand. Yeah, yeah. He's lucky enough. He when it's two two cover stand, because our it is not 
mandatory every catlap should be put no, a stand in defense of government anywhere uh, any person going to do complex pci or cto cover stand must be in hand coronary perforation this is a devastating condition in the catlap uh, and the uh, the risk is that there is uh, uh, hypotension bradycardia chest pain which usually patient develops and even in coronary angioplasty when there is yawing of the patients when uh, there is, when there is signs of vagal stimulation you should suspect whether there is coronary perforation or not number 2 when there is perforation uh, you, uh, hemodynamic stability is the most important things hemodynamic stability is the most important thing I, you should not scare just inflate balloon proximally if there is chest pain if there is perfusion balloon then you can use it just conceal the perforation at least at least temporarily then you decide what to do next if there is if there is tamponet you put a uh, uh, pigtail in the pericardial space and you take time if it is appropriate you put a uh, put a covered stand and you should try with uh, proximal balloon tamponade what should be the balloon size the balloon size is 1 is to 1.2 or 0.9 is 0.9 is to 1.1 but it should be in 4 to 6 atm it should be not be over pressurized low pressure high balloon but that means oversized balloon you keep it 5 to 10 minutes or 10 to 15 minutes according to the patient scenario if there is ischemia you can do it intermittently or if there is perfusion balloon you can you can keep it for even 30 minutes or longer and you take preparation for the next thank you oi ekta jinish ki oi je jeta bolchilen cover stand rakhar kotha ta eti kintu amra shobari etu khyal kora uchit যে যার ক্যাথলিপে নিজের দায়িত্বে ক্যাথলিপ ইনচার্জের উচিত এটার ব্যবস্থা করে রাখা আমার ঢাকা মেডিকেলে কিন্তু আমি তাই করে রাখছি এটা কিনে রেখে দিচ্ছি মানে না হলে এটা না থাকে আমি যদি কমপ্লেস করতে চাই যে করছি আমরা বাইফাকেশন করতে সিসিটিও করছি যে কখনো প্রবলেম হয় তখন তো লিগাল প্রবলেমও আসে যে আপনি এটা না থাকা অবস্থায় কেন করছেন তো বাজারে কম পাওয়া যায় কারণ যে আমরা অপারেটাররা খুবই ডিমান্ড করি না আমার ডিমান্ড না করলে কোম্পানি আনবে না উই শুড ডিমান্ড মাস্ট এভি ক্যাথলেপস ফুডস টেন টু টুয়েলভ এস কাপার স্ট্যান্ড আর আইটেন ছিল যে যে যদি কাপার স্ট্যান্ড না থাকতো কী করতো সে এটা একটা ইম্পর্টেন্ট প্রশ্ন কারণ কাপার স্ট্যান্ড পাওয়া যায় না তাহলে পোলং বেলুন ইনফ্লেশান বললো দিয়ে উই বাই টাইম ইনফ্লেশন বেলুন সেন দ্য পেশেন্ট ইন দ্য বাইপাস সার্জারি এই বেলুন ডিফিল করবে না কিন্তু এই অবস্থায় পেশেন্ট চলে যাবে বাইপাস সার্জারিতে কিন্তু অনেক সুবিধা গেছে যে আমি পেশেন্ট দেখেছি যে বেলুন ডিফ্লেট করে তারপর পেশেন্ট পাঠানো হয়েছে হ্যাঁ তো এইটা কিন্তু একটা ভুল জিনিস আর একটা জিনিস হলো যে হুইজ নট সো মাস লাকি বিকজ আফটার থ্রি মান্থস পেশেন্ট ফের কাম উইথ দ্য রিস্টেনোসিস বিকজ কাভার রেস্টেন্ট ইজ দ্য ফিফটি পার্সেন্ট চান্স অফ রিস্টেনোসিস সো সো উই শুড রিমাইন্ড দ্যাটস কাভার রেস্টেন্ট নিডস দ্য মোর ফলো অফ দ্য পেশেন্টস মেটিকুলাস ফলো অফ দ্য বিকজ চান্স অফ রিস্টেন্স হাই এখানে একটা কথা বিযোগ করে দিই যে মেইন ড্রোব্যাক অফ দ্য কাভার রেস্টেন্ট ইজ দ্য ট্র্যাকেবিলিটি and uh, instant diastenosis and instant thrombosis main drawback ei kotha gulo mone rakhte hobe jeno more potent antiplatelet drug ekhane amra use korte pari hobe more potent thank, thank you, you.